Get ready to match the star. Savory Shriver, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Joan Collins, Richard Dawson, and Patty Deutsch as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now here's the star of Match Game PM, Gene Rager! We thank you for joining us here live or on tape or however you are. You are all here live, I take it. There, <laughs> You are beautiful people. You know that? And you're beautiful. Aww. And we welcome you. Thank you. Nice to have thank your body you. on the stage here. It's, it's <laughs> great, isn't it? How are you? Oh, my body's on the stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I mean, thank you, you. <laughs> really got it. <laughs> well, you were discussing bodies. Yes, of course. Since I only yeah. have mine for a couple more months. <laughs> Well, I guess we've got to explain that, you see. Why? Patty recently became a mother, and um, she's... Uh, Mothers get neat stuff. That's right. They... <laughs> well, and I'll tell you something else. The kid ain't complaining either. <laughs> Let's say hello to our two players here, Brenda Verrett and Bob Baber. Now, I want to find out a little about each of you. We'll get, begin with you, Bob. Please tell us the story of your life in eight seconds. <laughs> that can be Thank done. Thank you. Okay, that's your chance, Bob. You blew it. I, no, where are you I'm from? I'm from Alta Loma, California. Yep. And uh, I design dental offices for a living. You design then, dental offices? Right. Dental offices. What is there I'll to designing? Them. They take a room and you put that uncomfortable chair in it? Oh, no. That's no. all there is to Not it. Not anymore. Not anymore? No, sir. Give us a clue. <laughs> giant molars. Giant <laughs> molars. That's right. Dental <laughs> <laughs> office in the shape of a giant molar. <laughs> the chair. All right. Well, Bob, we wish you the best of luck. And uh, now let's find out about Brenda. I'm from Kankakee, Illinois. Hey, Kankakee. Hey, Kankakee. <laughs> Town. It's known for the mental institution. No reflections on me. Right. <laughs> and um, and they got a river flowing through Kankakee. Yeah, I live right in the back of the river. No kidding. Yeah, no kidding. My father fishes all the time. But anyway, my mother works at the mental institution too. And uh, I am. <laughs> I am. Uh, Do you yeah. have shares in that uh, mental institution? You've helped it three times. I That's have right. a master's degree in speech from the Southern Illinois University. Saluki. That's a good school. Yeah. Thank you. And that's about it. Okay, well, we welcome you and wish you the best of luck. I remind both of you that you'll be trying to match as many of our celebrities as you can. And the winner goes on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. And now with my magic finger, I will push this little red button and ask Bob Baber to make a selection, A or B. I'll take B. You'll take B for Baber. Here we go. Shirley said. Uh-huh. I just found out where my butcher gets those unusual cuts of meat. God help us. I walked into the meat locker and saw his blank hanging from a hook. <laughs> Good girl. You did it. Right off the bat, you did it, and uh, there it is. Now, these two are Once again for Charles, he yeah. didn't have his hearing aid on. Shirley said, I just found out where my butcher gets those unusual cuts of meat. I walked into the meat locker and saw his blank hanging from a hook. A meat hook. Meathead. Do you understand the question now, dear? When, now, finish, finish, finish. Are you finished? That's one of my finish. Late in the slot there, turn on your light. Luckily, he's adorable. Yes, he is adorable. Now he's ready, and we come to Bob Baber. Shirley said, Bob, she said, I just found out where my butcher gets those unusual cuts of meat. I walked into the meat locker and saw his blank hanging from a hook. His horse. His horse. <laughs> Now you're gonna make him feel insecure. <laughs> Tell him you love him. All right, Avery Schreiber, you're up. Well, 
being the short person I am. Yes. I said horse. Horse it is. Yes. Okay, Brad. Do you know that I used to go to Shirley's Butcher until she told me about her trip into the dark room or wherever it is you yes. keep those the funny things? The meat locker, things? yeah. I'm crazy about Bob. Horse. Oh, that's horse. It's cute for you. Now, I ask you in all fairness, audience, audience, you oh, did yeah. boo him prematurely, didn't you? <laughs> Look what he's doing to here, is he? All right, Charles, you're up. I said stupid answer, wife. <laughs> you, Charles, the, the, we have a group of weirdos here. I mean, they love that answer. Do you, you know where he got good. that answer? I do. Yes. I'm glad you like it. I won't plug it, though. All right. No, just show us your answer. I walked into the meat locker and saw his blank hanging from a hook, and Bob said horse. What do you say? Well, I think more people should eat this. Liver. Saw yeah. his liver. Yeah. 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 that. Yes. Oh, right. there, no. Put it right in there, and now we go to Richard. Put some onions down there later, and we'll eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Remember, she's uh, a countryman, don't dear. Don't Bob, because the dental chair you may sit in one day might be designed by him. Yeah. I said wife, Bob. I'm what? sorry to say. So we got two horses, two horses and a liver. Two wives. What do you offer? Oh, you're speaking to me now. Yes, Patty Deutsch. What do you offer Bob Baber there, uh, who's looking I, for a horse? I know. My kingdom for a horse, he says. Uh huh. Good luck to him. <laughs> because I said that his competition was hanging. <laughs> Two for Bob. Brenda, this is your first round question, and it goes like this. Mm. Nanook the Eskimo said... Oh, her again. He said, that new Eskimo girl is weird. Uh -huh. At the party, instead of rubbing my nose, she blanked it. <laughs> That's now it. You'll just have to come along and do that. The, just the beginning. Nanook. Nanook. You know Nanook yes, the Eskimo. Yes, I know Nanook the Eskimo. He Nanook. said, that new Eskimo girl is weird. At the party, instead of rubbing my nose... She blanked it. Oh, isn't that cute? You see? I know the answer to that one. Everybody ready? Now we come to Brenda Verrett. Nanook the Eskimo said that new Eskimo, go Eskimo girl is weird. At the party, instead of rubbing my nose, she blanked it. Kissed it. She kissed it, that's I right. she did. Well, yeah, no, that's good. Now, wait a minute. You see, Eskimos kiss by rubbing noses. And she was so weird, she didn't rub nose, she just kissed. What do you say, Avery? Well, I used to know a conductor in San Francisco. Yes. Anyhow, <laughs> punched it. She punched him in the nose. Yeah. Okay. Was uh, she was a weirdo, wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What was that? <laughs> oh, I read that. <laughs> Whalebone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you when to come up. <laughs> okay, Brett, you're on. Not yet. Not has, yet. Has, has Avery ever uh, combed his hair? No. <laughs> well, unless it was with an egg beater. You know what I mean, honey? Uh, well, she grabbed him by his little hood and she punched him. Punched him in the nose. <laughs> there are two bloody noses there. Charles, what do you offer? Here's. The correct answer as usual. Hot! Not the last yes. time! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Brenda says, instead of rubbing my nose, she kissed it. What do you say? Well, I wrote kissed, and then I threw it away, I'm afraid. You did. Because I thought that since it was so cold, she would have to blow it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. I like that girl. She blew that one, didn't she? <laughs> okay, Richard. I knew the little girl. You knew that girl? Walked right up and bit him right on the nose. <laughs> To which he replied, I thought you think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Patty. It's not okay, Gene. Yes, it is. No, I No, you're okay, Patty. I'm as well as can be expected, having been yes. in the home as long as I... Uh, she harpooned his nose. <laughs> harpooned his nose? Harpooned his nose? That's an Eskimo. Well, that's, I said he was weird. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of round one, we have a score of two to one in favor of Bob Baber, and round two follows round one. Isn't that logical? But first this. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> and now we're ready to carry on. Round two, two to one in favor of Bob. And Bob, since you're ahead, we'll ask you to make the selection again. I'll take B for Bob this All time. All right. 
Now, two, uh, two people do not play, Avery and Brett. The others all because do. we got it right. Right. <laughs> the surgeon said, uh -huh. this man I'm operating on must be a magician. Uh-huh. When I reached in to pull out his appendix, I got a blank instead. <laughs> this man must be a magician. Got the idea. Mm -hmm. Got the picture. Yes. All right. Charles good. has a wonderful answer. Charles has a wonderful Very answer. Very good. Answer. Good. Very okay. Good one. All right. <laughs> Charles, there we go. Now we call on Bob. The surgeon said, this man I'm operating on must be a magician. When I reached in to pull out his appendix, I got a blank instead. Only a rabbit. A rabbit. Very good. Now, Charles, we call on you. He says, rabbit. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Okay. Ooh. It only counts for one, uh, you know, the picture and You'll the You'll be showing in Santa Monica my other drawings. Okay. <laughs> when I far reached more to interesting. Pull out, <laughs> to pull out his appendix, I got a rabbit instead, according to Bob. What do you say, Joan? Well, this is the first time I played this game, so I got it wrong again. I only said heart. Pull out his appendix. <laughs> Don't Hostile they know? audience. Yes, they are. <laughs> they will warm the cockles of your heart before not, the... Not so <laughs> <your rabbit. laughs> the cockles of your rabbit. What I do you say, say the English are taking over So far we've had uh, yeah. liver, liver, heart. Right. I was going to say liver the last time, but yeah. Yeah. I, I'd rather like liver. As Charles would say, a bunny rabbit. Hey, bunny rabbit. Oh, that's all for you, Bob. <laughs> I reached him to pull out his appendix and I got a rabbit instead. Good luck to him. Oh, and again? This particular person got a royal flush. A royal flush? <laughs> you are too much. <laughs> so, Bob, that's four for you. And now, Brenda, you got to go to work here. Oh, I know. You got to tie three to stay in a game, achieve a tie, uh, match three to achieve a tie, four to win, however. Okay. You ready? One does not play, and that's Charles. At the nudist camp. Uh -huh. uh oh. Royal flush. No. <laughs> they held a formal wedding. So all the men wore black blanks. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play, Charles? That's right. At the nudist camp, they held a formal no, no, wedding. No, 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 all the men. <laughs> All right, she's ready, but now but write one down there. I gotta write something. Down write there. something down there. Well, right? it's very hard when you got nothing to write. <laughs> you got something to write. Oh, hell of formal wedding. Oh, the formal wedding. wedding black, black, black something. Playing a sum there. Right, that's it. Okay. Now, everybody ready down there? Not quite over there. Come along, little mother. Okay. Now, this is yours, Brenda. At the nudist camp, they held a formal wedding, so all the men wore black blanks. Neckties. Neckties. And that was it, huh? I think they did. That, was that must have been interesting. Just black ties and nothing else. It's a black tie dinner, so just wear a black tie. All right, Avery, what'd you say? You know, once in a while when I play this game, I think I need help. Yes. Is this one of those times? This is one of those. Yes. They wore black grimaces. All together. What? <laughs> All right. That's enough. Put me here for the white grimaces. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Brett? I say Avery's right. He does need help. <laughs> and you, Listen. You mustn't eat paper, Avery. It'll go to your head. <laughs> Well, something smart. What? I said they wore black gloves. Black gloves. <laughs> you got a match of three remaining celebrities to stay in the game, and we call on Joan. What do you say? I say that they wore black tie. Tie. <laughs> Brenda, I beg your pardon. What was that you did? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's got her own rooting section, Richard. <laughs> Cab just it? came up over yes. there. Yes. <laughs> just a joke. Thank you. <laughs> no, I was going to show her tie. Tie. Getting there, getting there. All right. 
Four to three is the score at this moment. Brenda, if you match Patty, we have a tie and go to a tiebreaker. Now, Patty, yep. you haven't done anything right so far. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm just going to sit here and play with my nails. No, come on now. I said that uh, they wore black socks with garters. Oh. Black socks with garters. The Bob Baber wins the game. Brenda, you're a very pretty lady, and it really was a pleasure meeting you, my it dear. It was my pleasure. Thank you. We've got a gift for you. Brenda Verrett, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Now, well, while she's spinning off, we'll spin these messages especially for you. All right, here we are. You ready, Bob? That's right. This is old Bob Baber here. He's a splendid fellow. And, Bob, it's time now for the big money super match where you can win over $10,000. Now, to do that, we've got two audience matches for you. And I want to point out to you, whatever you win in these audience matches, you'll have a chance to multiply by 10. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here comes the first one. We pulled a recent studio audience, Bob. We got their best response to this. Blank Ben. Now, the answer that group gave most often is worth... $500 if you match it. If you match the next one, you make $250. And the bottom one brings you $100. Three of our celebrated, gifted, charming, beautiful people are permitted thank to help. You. Whom do you call on? I'd like to have Brett. You'd like to have Brett? Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you, Bob. Okay. I'll write down my number. Then, uh, <laughs> just a simple answer is oh, all he wants what here. What about Big Ben? Big Ben is one. Uh, Charles? Charles? Gen <laughs> Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben, yeah. That was the name of the bear, wasn't it, in that No, that's series. what Brett said to her date last night. That was very Gentle Ben. Okay. <laughs> and I'd like to have Richard. Richard, you're in the Has number. been. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know a third one. You don't know a third. Third is a tough position. Well, I'll say Little Ben. If it was Big Ben, there might be a Little Ben. <laughs> little ben. I think from Bonanza, Little Ben. Yeah. All right. Well, no, I really... person. Third is tough. Uh, okay, so you got Little Ben. Terrific answer. And you got Gentle Ben and Big Ben. You want one of those? Yeah, I'll take Big Ben. You'll take Big Ben. All right, that's what he's looking for. That's the one that Brett gave you. Okay, we'll find out if it's up there, and if so, where. Let's begin by revealing the answer down at the very bottom there. May we see the $100 response? <laughs> uncle Ben. Who is Uncle Ben? Oh, he's the, the rice. guy who owns the rice he's plantation. He's the uncle of Little Ben, he's who is on the No, he has been. <laughs> Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben is the one we're looking for. Let's find out if it's under the $250 response. Gentle Ben. Charles gave you that one. Oh, okay. the bear. Who it is. Oh, That's right. Last chance for Big Ben. Here comes the big number. Go. Big Ben. Congratulations. How do you feel, Bob? <laughs> So, now, Bob, you've won the 500, means the least you'll be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $5,000. Now, let's see how much more you can win with our second audience match. Here we go. Slide it, Earl. Burns and blank. So, number five, two, fifty, and 100, and three celebrities, you're going to call on them right now. All right, I'll have Brett again. Brett. How about Burns and Allen? Yeah, Burns and Allen. <laughs> I'll take Charles again. Take Charles again. You can say Burns and Allen yes. when you're sitting next to Burns and who? Schreiber. Well, of course we need Burns, Burns and Schreiber. And Schreiber. All right, that's two. Uh, Charles. Got to stay in the groove. No, Charles just gave you Charles. one. I Charles. I mean Richard. <laughs> well, make Charles I'm give sorry. you the third one. <laughs> Burns and well, Gentle Royal there's, Flush. And there's Burns and Little Ben, who are wonderful actors. <laughs> Burns yeah, and Burns. Bill, weren't they? They were. Yeah. But I'm going to go for an act you probably... <laughs> Burns and Burns. Excuse me. Your teeth are okay, but your gums are going to have to come out. <laughs> uh, Burns and Cuts. <laughs> Burns and Cuts. <laughs> Burns and Cuts. <laughs> Burns and Cuts. <laughs> Burns and 
Raise and cut. Raise and cut. It's what happens when you're in the towering inferno and you fall. You get burns and cuts. Is that correct? I think so. Burns and cuts. You're From the film Little Ben. You are out of your no, conscience. Let line. me be up there and you answer number yeah. three. <laughs> Let's see what they come up with. There is a third one. Burns and cuts. Right. Burn. You got um, burns and Alan. Burns and Shimon. Burns, burns and cuts. Forget it. Quiet. All, All right. You want one of those? I'm going to take Burns and Alan. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Me. Reveal the $100 response. <laughs> Burns, Burns and cuts. cuts. Scratches. Earl, I am talking to you. <laughs> Earl, are Earl. you in there? I'm here. No water on But him. I said it now, Earl Slater. Do what I tell you. I'm the star of this show, Earl. Thank you. Did you tamper with one. this board? <laughs> okay, yeah. we're looking for Burns and Allen. Earl, slide the $250 number. Burns and Schreiber. All right. Last chance for Burns and Allen. Here's a $500 response. Burns and Allen. Okay. Now, congratulations to you. You won another $500. Multiply by 10, another $5,000. Gives you a pot of $10,000 to shoot for now. Now, Bob, you got to match one celebrity head to head. Which one will it be? Oh, I got to stick with who put me there. <laughs> Brett. All right, Brett. You get ready to write. You face me, Bob. Here it is for $10,000. Hello, blank. <laughs> All right, now she's finished. Bob, we call on you to give us an answer which you think will match hers. What do you say to that? Hello? Dolly. You say, hello, Dolly. All right. All right. For 10000 he says that matches you. What do you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, they were climbing. I didn't hear. He said, He said, what? hello, Dolly. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Gene Rayburn here, Match Game PM. Join us next week. Thank you. Congratulations, Bob. Some contestants will receive from Fetters the rotary power pickup, the powerful room air conditioner to lightweight you want to take it everywhere you go. And from Dexter, a wardrobe for men's and women's shoes from casuals to dress. Dexter shoes give you that Saturday feeling every day. And Devoe Paints. Since 1754, America's first paint company supplying products with imagination from Celanese. Devoe Paints America beautiful for over 200 years. And Xerox, the unbeatable year-round summer coolant antifreeze helps protect against summer boil over no matter how hot it gets. And for a smooth running car, Castrol GTX Motor Oil for all models and sizes of cars.